What's up, y'all? So today I'm taking y'all with me from my drive from work to home. And I'll just go over some pros and cons about what I've experienced with having driven the car a thousand plus miles and just some of the small things that I've seen and how I feel about the car. I definitely love the suede on the inside. I love the, the bucket seats. If you get the Model 3 Performance, you get the bucket racing seats, which are amazing. They're extremely comfortable. They come with the vent ventilation and the heating, which uh, is actually really needed in Texas uh, since it gets so hot out here. Uh, one of the things is that you definitely will need to tint your windows because of all the sun that comes in from just being like a fishbowl from all the op openings for sunlight in your car. I haven't gotten a tint yet, but I am trying to schedule one. <laughs> I need to. I'll eventually get to it. I am 6'3", 6'2", and I'm actually pretty spacious in here. That's one of the things that I didn't know I was uh, if I was gonna like about the car due to the fact that I used to have a truck. So I, I had lots of space in there and I didn't wanna be constricted to a tiny space, but I definitely do love it. Another thing I wanted to talk about that I talked about on my uh, first video whenever I got the car was uh, getting used to the turn signals, which I have. And in my mind, it works pretty, pretty well to look at it like if you're doing a manual signal, you will go up on the signal. So Tesla has placed the turning right signal up on the top. If you're doing the manual, you will go down to turn left. So they put it on the bottom on the Tesla here. They put uh, the left turn on the bottom. One of the things that I thought that was gonna take me a while to get used to, which actually I got used to it faster than the turning signals, was the regenerative uh, braking. So how that works is if you let go of the accelerator, you don't have to press on the brake, it starts braking by itself. You have to brake way before you get to the car in front of you. So it can get all that energy back and you can put it in your, your battery lifespan. So you can get that energy back into your car. And now since we're talking about the battery, uh, I do drive around an hour, an hour and 30 to uh, to work and, and back, back to my house. So it is around like 35, 30 miles. But with the Texas traffic, it takes a while to, for me to get there. So it's around an hour, an hour and 30. So talking about energy, there is an energy app that comes with the Tesla, which actually tells you some quick uh, range tips or things that you are doing that are killing your battery faster or that you're doing and are actually making you have more battery. Uh, some of the things are like, maybe like pressing on the accelerator too fast, um, heart braking since you're not getting that generative uh, energy back into your car that can kill uh, your battery faster or it won't give you as much range as you could get. So I definitely do like that app just so I can see what I'm doing that's killing my battery faster. I do charge my battery around three to four times a week. I do charge my car to 80%. So I get around 200 and 250 or so miles out of that 80, 80%. And I do, since I do at home charging, it does take me around nine hours to get to 80%. I have not yet used the supercharge. I will, I could make a short, I could make a YouTube short about it and then let y'all know how it goes and my experience with it. But I do get to that 80% in nine hours. My charging is around 29, 28 amps, 29 amps. Since I do have such a long commute to work, I do use uh, full self driving every day. And I pretty much gotten so accustomed to it that it's just, I just feel like I'm passenger riding in my car. I just have to pay attention on little things that the car will do that how like the full surf driving can mess up sometimes it, it can miss turns since it takes so long to get into a lane and then it takes a while for it to get to the other lane also whenever you get to say like you're about to come to a stop and there's a car in front of you and you're pressing on the gas and it's really far away it starts beeping at you extremely early which can get annoying but I get it, it does try to be as careful as it can be. Also, sometimes on like merging lanes, it doesn't see the lane 
so it, you can actually get into an accident. Uh, you can you can watch that. That happened in my uh, full self driving at night video. But other than that, full self driving is amazing. Like I cannot go back to my old car or anything like that since it's such a it's such a great thing. It's you gotta experience it. You just gotta use it on your everyday commute, especially if you do long drives like I do. It's, it's just so helpful. Another thing that I do want to talk about is how fast this car is. I have a video of me um, going zero to 60 with my coworkers in the car. It was hilarious. They, they were not ready for the takeoff and they just got scared. They started screaming and everything like that. It was, it was amazing. This, this thing can go. It's amazing how fast it can go or how quick it is. Like you just step on it and it flies. I also want to talk about the exterior of the car. I got the Quicksilver paint on it. One thing that surprised me was that it actually doesn't get dirty that quick. I have washed it already. Since I want it to look as as good as it can, you know, um, it's, it's a new car, so I want it to be nice. I want to keep it clean. And it looks amazing. I like the spoiler, the carbon fiber spoiler is really nice. Uh, some things that I could change, maybe like the brake light. I want to do like the singular light, how the, the Model Y is going to be. I might make a video on that later on. I also want to get something for the front because I don't like pushing on the front to close it every time. I feel like I'm going to mess up or like dent the front, uh, which I don't want to do. You never want to do that to your car. Uh, I'll probably look into getting something for it too. I'll make a video on it for it just to like, just so you can like put it down and then it closes by itself at the end instead of you pushing on it hard. A con that I could say about the interior is that it can get dirty easily, especially with the black. Like say you rub it or something like that, it leaves like a white kind of like spot. And uh, also like, like little marks on the seats and stuff like that, just from like a little scratch or something, uh, it, leaves, it leaves a mark. And, it, and then, I mean, you gotta clean it, but I just don't like how quickly it can leave marks. Also like the, the dash. There could be marks left just from like touching it or your your knee scraping it. Also, I do recommend getting a screen protector. The screen does have a lot of glare. So it's good if you get an anti-glare uh, screen protector just so you can see it better. I also have to get some inside the cabin compartment just so I can take more advantage of the space that it has. Since it doesn't come with any, I bought some. And it just takes advantage of those spaces a lot better than what it comes with or what it doesn't come with. The sound system is actually extremely good in this car. I feel like, this, they, I, I think I looked it up and it said that it has nine speakers, which is actually a lot. The bass is extremely nice. And since the, the cabin is so silent, every the bass is just that much, that much better. Some of the media features that I do love about the Tesla are having the Netflix, YouTube, and all that already installed in here. Just so if you wanna chill, like say when you're supercharging somewhere, you can turn that on and it turns those lights off and it doesn't kill as much energy. 